I need you to put your hands together. Come on. It's Thanksgiving to God. We give you all thanks. We give you all glory. Come on, let's give God a praise. Hey.
love you. Hey, I'm just so thankful to God for saving me, number one, and thankful for my family that I have. I'm just so blessed. I'm talking about my parents, my wife, my children, my grandparents. It's just a blessing. I'm just thankful for life and strength, how good God is. Thank God for just, I'm thankful for him keeping and saving me. Glory to your name, Lord. Amen. I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful for God um, allowing me to still be here after the 19 months of the pandemic without it ever touching me or my family. And I thank God for life. I'm thankful that I serve a God that restores, a God that heals, a God that saves, and a God that delivers. Thank you, Father. First of all, I'm thankful for life. And I know this is a very formal portion, but I'm going to give you an informal answer. I'm thankful for the Ohio State University Buckeyes. Go Bucks. <laughs> I am thankful, God, that I'm still on this earth. So many have gone, but I'm still here, God, and I thank you. I thank you for blessing my church family. I thank you for blessing my personal family. God, I thank you. I'm just thankful for God, life, health, and strength. I be COVID. I did it with God's help. Well, we, oh, I'm thankful for life, health, and strength. Hallelujah. Praise God. I love my pastor because God is my everything. <laughs> I am thankful for God, number one, being Lord over my life. And secondly, most, most of all, I'm thankful for my family. God has given me a beautiful family. Uh, and I'm just ever grateful and I'm just ever thankful for everything that he has done for me. One thing I'm grateful for is just God putting us on this earth because we really shouldn't even be living right now. Thank God for my family and my family at church. I'm thankful for new mercies and new grace every day. I'm thankful for my family and a place that I can come and worship and give God praise. On this earth and surviving COVID. I didn't get COVID, but yeah, at least I didn't get it, right? Yes. Did you get COVID? <laughs> no. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Life, health, and scrim. To see another day to praise him and give him honor and the glory. Thank you. I'm thankful for God giving me grace and I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my family, my son, and just life in general. Uh, I'm thankful for God, you know, leading me in the right direction, you know, with uh, my family and sports and um, just him being a provider and a God for me throughout life. I am so thankful for life, health, and strength. God is just a good God. In this season, I am thankful for life, my sanity, and my peace of mind. I'm thankful for my family all the time. Life. Uh, one of the things I'm thankful for, I'm just thankful for life, 
and I'm thankful for uh, God's hand on my life. And, um, just thankful that we're all able to come back and, and get into the house and, and give God glory, man. Happy Love Thanksgiving. You. Love you guys from Greater Works. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Enjoy the game. <laughs>
you so much to declare it today. We're so grateful, Lord, because great and mighty is our God, yeah. Nobody like the Lord, nobody like the Lord, hey. Nobody like the Lord, nobody like the Lord, say. we're so grateful. We have so much to be thankful for, God. Father, as we worship you today, God. Father, we love you, God. Nobody can love us like you. Nobody can hold us like you. Nobody can care for us like you care for us, God. Father, you've been better to us than we can be to ourselves, God. For that, we owe you more, God. We owe you our worship. And we give you praise, God. God bless you, and happy Thanksgiving to everyone, especially to you that are watching on this day. The Word of Faith says that it's always good to give thanks unto the Lord. And today I want to just say to everyone, especially to families on today, I know this might be sometime a trying year for many people uh, these past few 19 or 20 months now that we have dealt with a pandemic, a time that is, has been uh, unsure to so many in so many different ways. But I want to encourage you on today that again, Jesus himself, the word of faith says himself, Lo, I'll be with you always, even until the end of the world. So we know that the Lord is with many families that are uh, been going through bereavement uh, over the, these past few months. And I just want to let you know that I personally, my ministry, we are praying for many of you all that are tuning in on this day that we all call Thanksgiving. I want to share a few words with you that the Lord, I believe, has impressed in my heart uh, over the years as we approach these holiday season, especially during this time of Thanksgiving. A particular verse of scripture, uh, several verses, 26 verses, matter of fact, in Psalms 136. It's so important that we understand uh, of giving thanks unto the Lord. And before I go into it, I want to say a word of prayer, and then we can go into what the Lord has given unto me. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. We lift you up. We magnify you for every man and every woman, every family that is gathered together today to give you thanks, Lord. We thank you for our life. We thank you for our health. And we do thank you for our strength. We thank you for many things, God, that you've done for us that we didn't even know, but it was you all the time doing it for us. So we give your name glory and honor and praise for it. As I move my flesh out the way, let no flesh glory in your sight, but let glory and honor go to you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Listen, Psalms 136, um, and, and it's 26 verses of this, but I always love the just the very, the very first verse. It says, oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures for." Ever. Let's look at a couple more verses. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. 
all of these 26 verses, and I read about three or four of these verses, but all of these verses, when you look at them, they make sure you understand for his mercy endures forever. His unkindness, his favor that he does for you and I, things that we know uh, we have no control of, things that we know only he could have done for us, things that we have experienced in our life that he gets all the glory and he gets all the honor for them. There are many things that I personally can testify of his goodness and all that he has done for me, not only for me personally, but for my family, and not only for my family, but my church family. Oh, my God, every time I think about what he has done for us here in the city of Brunswick, Georgia, for what he has done here in our ministry, greater works in these ministry, and for the many lives that God has allowed to even come through these doors that we can give God glory and to give God honor and to give God praise. I want to give you another verse. Verse 5 says, to him, again, who by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endures forever. To him who laid out the earth above the water, for his mercy endures forever. To him who made great lights, for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy to rule forever. And the moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endures forever. Let me just stop right there for a moment. There are so many things that we take for granted, and there's so many times that I often tell people, look what the Lord has done. Look at many times there have been trials in our personal lives and, and storms that was out of our control, and God stepped in. And that's so much to not only just give him thanks, but to thank him for his mercy, his love, his kindness, his favor that he has done for many of us. Some of you all that are watching me this morning, you know God has been so good to you. Not only just in your health, not only just for your family, but even in your finances. Not only just in your finances, but providing for you a roof over your head, an automobile to get you back and forth to where you have to go at. And there's so many things we personally can tell God thank you for. And a lot of times when I think about my life and think again where he brought me from, and not only from where he brought me from, but I could just stand back and look at so many lives that has been impacted by the word of faith. Because what the word said, faith comes by hearing, and hearing comes by the word of God. And you really can't believe God for anything again until you hear it. So once you hear it and begin to act on what you hear, and then you begin to see that the word of God comes unfold in your life, and you start seeing your life takes on for the better, you can't help but say, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. That's what we ought to do. That's what we're supposed to do, to give him all glory and to give him all honor and to give him all praise. I'm saying this here because I do know in this season of all of our lives, we never know what's going to take place. We never know how we're going to get out of situation. But one thing that I shared with someone, even on yesterday, I've always walked by faith and not by sight. Never walk by what I saw, but I've always walked by what I believe. And the Bible says in Isaiah, he says, whose report shall we believe? We believe the report of the Lord. So if the Lord says he's going to do this, he's going to do it. And trust him at his word. Let me give you just a few more verses of these scriptures. And verse number, uh, number 11 said, and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endures forever. With a strong hand, and with an outstretched arm for his mercy endures forever. Oh, there's so much we can say this morning when it comes down to giving thanks unto the Lord. Before you even break bread this morning, before you even cut that turkey, before you even dive into that cranberry sauce, before you even eat that pumpkin pie, you want to give God thanks. You want to give God the glory. You want to give God the honor. And you want to give God the praise. There's somebody this morning might don't have food on their table, but God has provided for you to have food on your table and not only to have food on your table, but to have shelter over your head. And I want to encourage many of you all on this day, never take it lightly, never take it for granted for what the Lord has done for you and in your family because he get all the glory, he get all the honor, and he definitely get all the praise. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. It is an uh, an opportunity that you and I can just stop for a moment and to tell our family, our sons and our daughters, our grandchildren, our brothers and our sisters, our mothers and our father, that we owe God so much. And one thing we can let him know, Lord, I thank you 
for every trial, every test that I might have had to experience, and you brought me through. The same way you brought the children of Israel, when you look at it in Psalms 136, the same way you stretched out your hand and you parted the sea, the same way you said, let there be light, and there was light. Lord, I thank you for everything that you've done for me in my personal life. It is a good thing, again, as I say, to give thanks. And somebody might say, well, why do you thank him so much? Because it could have been the other way, like some older people, when I was a boy coming up, they would say, it could have been the other way. And so when you see what the Lord has done for you, that's why you have to stop and tell him, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for my mother. Thank you for my father. Thank you for my sister. Thank you for my brother. Thank you for my children. And someone might say, well, Pastor Baker, I just had a loved one made their transition. Is it still to give thanks? Yes, because the word of faith says, if we only have hope in this life, we're most miserable. And one thing about a loved one making their transition, you understand what the word says. To be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. There might be a seat empty at the table today. Uh, there might be a loved one that you say they was here with you this time last year, but they're no longer here with you. One thing you got to tell God thank you for, for the life that you allow. He allowed for you to share with your loved one. I'm praying for so many. Oh, as I'm seeing in the spirit now, I'm praying for so many of you all that family members has made their transitioning this year. And some just within 24 hours, some within just 72 hours that I do know personally. I'm praying for you. I'm praying that the Lord will continue to strengthen you. I'm praying not only that he will continue to strengthen you, but I'm praying that the life that your loved ones have lived before you, you will continue to live it out as a legacy unto them. Because it's a good thing that when our loved ones has imparted wisdom down through the years in our life, and we are able to continually to grow from what was given unto us, that's why we can say it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Not again just for things. Hear me out when I say that. Not just because of things. Because Matthew 6 and 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and all these other things will be added to you. But we do thank him. Here we go again for our life our health, and our strength. We thank him for keeping us. And I want to stop here even in this, this moment now. I want to thank him for watching over your sons and your daughters in other parts of the country, other parts of the world that might be, again, defending our country, and not only just defending our country, but to be able to stand in foreign lands that they've probably never been in. But we do know one thing that God has already watched over your family members that might not be there with you on today. It is a good thing, hear me again, to give thanks. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. His love, his kindness, his favor endures forever. And I want you to be in great expectation. Again, my word is as many times, that if God have to do 1159, December the the 31st, 2021, what he promised you you'd do, he is going to do it. I decree that over your life. There are so many of you all that are watching. I just feel it in my spirit from all over this country. There are so many of you all that are tuning in on today. And if you don't take nothing what I'm saying, but one word today, thanks. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord because, again, he is truly worthy to be praised. Let's pray on today. Father, we thank you again. We praise you for this time. And I want to touch and agree with some family members now, Lord, that again, that are going through, not only because of the loss, and I don't even like to use the word loss, but the transitioning of a loved one. I want to thank you that you're giving them the strip that they need. I want to thank you that even the tears, God, that they shed. Your word declared weeping may and do for a night, but you say joy comes in the morning. So Lord, I thank you and I praise you for family members even now. And now, Lord, I thank you because of their health, Lord, someone that's, that this, this morning, God, that might say within themselves, Pastor Baker, would you pray for my health? And I stretch my hands out to you, and I stretch my hands out in faith that he was wounded for your transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. So I speak healing over your body. I speak healing for a loved one even now as I pray. And I ask you to just come in agreement with me, even now. The Bible says, two of us, we might can't touch each other physically right now. But he said, if two of us, by faith, stand in proxy with one another, by faith, your loved one is healed. Your loved one will live and will not die. 
and they will declare the works of the Lord. I thank God for healing on today. I thank God for restoration of the mind. I thank God for peace in the mind. And not only I thank God for peace in their mind, God, but I thank you, God, for providing every need in the lives of your people. You get the glory. You get all the honor, Father, and you get all the praise. We thank you and we praise you in advance for all that you have done and all that you will do on this day that we call Thanksgiving. For it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord because he is truly, again, worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Listen, God is great. He's worthy. As I say again, he's worthy to be praised. This time I want you to do something because I do believe this by faith. I want you to do something and I want you to do it in honor to the Lord. He doesn't need anything, but I want you to do this by faith. I want you to give a special seed on today. And I want you to, on that seed, on that offering that you give today, and I want you to just put on that offering again for his mercy endures forever. His love, his kindness endures forever. And that's something I know you're doing electronically, but I want you to just make sure that even as you uh, are on your smartphones, however, uh, that you're giving the five ways that we do give in this ministry, but I want you to make sure you put there for his mercy endures forever. Sow a seed, sow a seed in faith, sow a seed in faith, and let's believe God. And some people might say a lot of times, say, should we give? Yes, we should give because for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. So let's give on this morning and let's let him know how much we do praise him for the opportunity that we can sow into the kingdom of God. He get all the glory again. He get all the honor and he definitely get all the praise. This is Pastor Mark Baker. Yeah, from Greater Works in East Ministry right here in the city of Brunswick, Georgia. God get all the glory and God get all the praise. And I do look forward for you tuning in this Sunday morning, 930. Let's believe God for great things. God bless you.